The Waukesha Christmas Parade trial continues for a third week, and witnesses are testifying about the moment police arrested the suspect in the attack. Daryl Brooks is facing 76 charges, including six counts of first-degree intentional homicide. Gabriella Becerra has been covering this trial since it started and joins us live with what the suspect did after allegedly driving through the parade. Gabby. Well, Joseph and Natalie, multiple witnesses testified that a man they identified as Daryl Brooks came up to them after the Waukesha Christmas parade asking to use their phones to call an Uber. Those who lent their phones say he called his mother. Hey. Can I, I call some, I call an Uber, and I'm supposed to be waiting for it over here, but I don't know when it's coming. Can you call it for me, please? On the stand Monday, Daniel Ryder testified to opening up his home to a man later identified as Daryl Brooks. All he knew about the man at the time was he wasn't dressed appropriately for the cold winter weather. I let him sit on the couch right by the window out front. I said, you can look out here waiting for your Uber, and he's on the phone. Most of the time after that, Ryder lent Brooks a coat and his phone. He also made him a sandwich as Brooks talked on the phone with his mom. I would say flustered, but also there were many times he was thanking me, and so he was grateful. And he even said, Thank you so much for showing me love, man. And he was calling me bro. Ryder says he noticed police patrolling his street. He sent Brooks outside to wait. Minutes later, Ryder's ring doorbell camera captured the moment police found the Waukesha Christmas parade suspect. Police body camera video shows officers cuffing Brooks on the ground. Get on the ground. Do it now. What is your name? Officer Rebecca Carpenter says Brooks had a sandwich, cards with his name, and a Ford key in his pockets. She identified the defendant in the courtroom. Keep saying you. Who are you referring to? You, Mr. Brooks. Daryl Brooks. Seated at the defense table. And defendant Daryl Brooks continues to object to his name in the courtroom. The proceedings just uh, wrapped up momentarily ago, and they will continue tomorrow. The state is now predicting to wrap its case on Wednesday. Reporting live in Waukesha, Gabriella Becerra, CBS 58 News.